Hi, I'm Mary Ellen Schuster from Schuster's Westview Gardens, and today we're going to show you how to cut back your house plants. This is a pothos. It's a very popular plant. Every plant collector has one of these in their collection, and they know that it grows very fast and it's very tolerant of all lights, and sometimes it just needs to have a haircut. So when you're cutting back your plant, one of the most important things to remember is you always cut at a leaf joint. You never cut in the middle of the stem. You cut right here at a leaf joint. And out of that leaf joint, usually you will get two more branches. This is where the plant branches out. This is how it does it. When I am cutting back a pothos, I never cut them all at the same length. I want the plant to look fairly natural when it's done. So I'm going to kind of alternate. I'm going to take this fellow way up here. And I'm going to go through. Cut this fellow a little bit longer. a little shorter, longer, shorter, and he's had a nice trim, and he doesn't look like, you know, he was run over by a lawnmower, <laughs> but anyway, it gives him a natural look. And when you're through trimming back your plant, and you can go through and you can shape it a little bit, if you just want to tweak it, make it look a little nicer, you can do that too. And one of the things to remember, when you're done, you're going to see some yellow leaves, you're going to see some brown leaves because they were underneath and they weren't getting the light that the guys on top were getting. So just remove them. They're not doing the plant any good. It needs to put its energy into its healthy leaves. So clean it out completely. This is typical. There's nothing wrong with your plant. This is what plants do at this point when they are overgrown. Now on your pothos, I know that you probably don't like the idea of throwing these out and these are great to root and you can really just take these little pieces and put them in water and they will form new roots right away. You'll be amazed how fast that happens and then you'll have another plant or you'll have a plant to give away to some of your friends. So um, I hope this helped you, this little tutorial, and thank you. Hi, thank you for watching this tutorial. We are in a greenhouse, so I apologize for all the wind. It sounds like a hurricane, but it's just the way greenhouses are. And I hope this helped you with learning how to cut back your houseplants. Thank you.